bad news. Got some bad news in, guys. I've just read in the Daily Mail that eating just half an egg a day increases your risk of death by 7%. Eating just half an egg. Does that mean you're eating too much or not enough? It's difficult to tell. Let's see if they elaborate. Step away from the omelette. Eating just half an egg a day increases your risk of death, capital letters there, by 7%. Unless you ditch the yolks. Whole eggs, the yolk as well as the white, are linked to increased mortality. Oh, right. So, are well, we not going to die then? Have we found the key to eternal life is just to lay off the eggs? Chinese researchers believe that high fat and cholesterol levels in eggs are to blame. Well, we can trust the Chinese when it comes to knowing what to eat, can't we? They've never put a foot wrong. People advise to use only the whites or switch to healthier egg Substitutes, boiled, fried, scrambled, or in an omelette, whole eggs pose a threat to health, and eating more of them increases your risk of death. So if you don't want to die, lay off the eggs. When did we get this idea that people don't die, or that every death has to be avoided? There's a lot of statistics at the moment about deaths and numbers and who dies and who doesn't. But the Daily Mail is uh, spreading more doom and gloom by reiterating the fact that the risk of death increases by a further 7% for every half an egg on top of this. Right, so you're allowed one egg, one egg limit. That, but if you have that, you increase your risk of death by 7%. Another egg on top of that and you're up to 14. They warned that people should only use the whites or switch to healthier egg substitutes, which lower the risk of dying. You're not going to die unless you have an egg. Substituting an equivalent amount of nuts or legumes for half a whole egg Half a whole egg. It sounds like a maths question. Half a whole egg. Researchers gave a questionnaire to more than half a million Americans between 1995 and 1996 and followed them for 16 years. Data from this study published shows 129,328 people who filled out the original form died. They must have had eggs then. People die. Why is that such a shocking fact of life? Have people been living like Siddhartha Gautama before he became enlightened and became the Buddha? He'd never known any suffering. He didn't know that people died. He didn't know that people got ill. And when he was a young man and he saw these sorrows for the first time, he was very shocked and... Uh, he had to run away and go and live in obscurity for many years until he came to terms with it. So yeah, we can't live a sheltered life like that. The NHS says eggs are a good choice as part of a healthy, balanced diet, as well as being a source of protein. They also contain vitamins and minerals. It says there is no recommended limit on how many eggs people should eat, but advise cooking them without adding salt or fat. Frying can increase their fat content by around 50%. Oh, uh, well, you definitely die then if you have that, won't you? Look, guys, people die. And this statistic of you being 7% more likely to die, when? At what point in your life? People die. Some people die when they're 81. That's the average life expectancy in the UK at the moment. Some people die when they're 82, on average. But you can't run away from death. You can't live in paranoia, avoiding eggs 
because there's a 7% increase of the chance of death for every egg that you add to your breakfast. They said don't have butter, then they said do have butter. We can't live with this paranoia and this OCD type attitude to health. The advice from the NHS is to enjoy eggs in moderation as part of a healthy, balanced diet. And that's what I would encourage you to do and not get paranoid by rubbish stories like that. Thanks for watching.